Hi, I hope everyone had a uh, great holiday. Um, back in Shanghai, back with the uh, squash fan, and I've upgraded it. And today, we're gonna take a look at it, and then we're gonna take it outside. And we're gonna run it. First up, let's see what I've done to hopefully improve the uh, squash fan. So let's take a look. All right, so here is our squash fan and it's still looking good. I cleaned it up from the last run. So I've done a few upgrades. This will take long, but we'll take a look and uh, see what, what I've done to it. So on the last video you saw it, it was mostly completely stock form. Uh, except for the foam and the tires and the ball bearing set. Body's still holding up good. I love that body. So here we go. You can see right away, new ESC. So this is a Max 10 Easy Run uh, from Hobby Wing. It's the 60 amp version or the 80 amp version. Can't remember which. It's the smaller version. And in here we have our Easy Run 4100 kV uh, sensor motor. So this should be quite quick. Now the other upgrade that we've done is the shocks. So we actually got some return. <laughs> Don't just get stuck down with the friction shocks. And if we lift it, you will see it is quite nice. It doesn't bounce at all. So I think that is going to make a nice performance improvement. Everything else has stayed the same, so we've just gone brushless, same pinion gear, um, but a very powerful, uh, fast brushless system. So with that, with the new shocks, I think it's gonna make this an excellent runner. So all we gotta do is take it outside and give it a run. Oops. Maybe we need a wheelie wheel. <laughs> oh no. Oh, it's a little hard to control. All right, so 2S. It's a little bit hard to control, as we've just seen. <laughs> Transmission's still nice and smooth. It's a little hard to control though. We may have overpowered our, our rig a bit. We may have overpowered it.
Cannon. I am destroying my body and it's so beautiful it's kind of sad. It's not beautiful to destroy but it's beautiful and now it's getting destroyed. Um, so that was an experiment. 
to throw in this super fast brushless motor into this vehicle and see how it work. Should you do it? I'm going to say no. This, this rig was more fun on the silver can. I had more fun with it than I'm having today. Today I'm just going and turning it back on its wheels as it flips over continuously because it has quite a high center of gravity. Um, so should you upgrade your squash fan do brushless? No, no you should not. Unless you use a slow motor and then what's the point? Right? So this is 4100 kV. If I put like a 1600 kV brushless motor in, it'd be fine. But then is there a point to running brushless if you're not wanting to go fast? Let's take a look around and see if we can find damage. So there's no real damage to the car. There's no real damage to it. It's pretty solid chassis design. Like you're not gonna break that chassis. It's kind of brilliant that way. These arms are much better than what come on the GFO one. Um, much better plastic. So it is quite a solid design. I put these longer shocks on and I changed the hole they go in and they all fit rather nice. So those are 65 millimeter and they fit rather nice. I also changed the hexes, but they're just metal hexes. If I didn't have an open diff, it would actually run even worse. So locking up the diff doesn't help. I've broken my sticker. I've knocked paint off there. I haven't cracked the body anywhere that I can find. So that's good. But I'm kind of destroying my, my beautiful truck. So I think I will go back to brushed and we'll save this power system for a different build. Um, yeah, so squash fan, super fast, brushless, good idea. I think, uh, no, it's not a good idea. It's a bad idea. So that's all for this one. I would like to drive it more. I have more battery, but I just don't want to break it. And that's what I think is going to happen. I'm going to smash something and there's no point. It's not really fun. Um, changing the wheels, maybe if I put um, like GFO2, sorry, GFO1 wheels on, lower and wider, that actually might help it be more stable. That is something I could try. But all in all, it was super fun on the stock silver can and brush setup. But as I said in the first video, in Tamiya's video of this truck, they're running brushless. So what do you think I should do? Do you think I should change out the motor and put in a uh, lower KV motor and keep it brushless? Do so you think I should go back to the silver can? Or do you think maybe I should put in a GT tuned or a uh, BZ Superstock Tamiya motor, get a little bit more speed out of it, but still remain brushed? So I'm not quite sure what to do with it. I know this power setup is not the way to go. So anyway, that's all for this video. Nice short one. Just want to show you the squash fan on brushless setup and uh, you can make up your own mind I guess but any advice for me leave it down in the comments thanks for watching subscribe ring bells da 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 have a good one